Hello guys, NASCAR fan YT here, and today we're doing episode 35 of my team query mode here. And we are here at the United States for the Secret of the Americas Grand Prix, for the United States Grand Prix, or whatever it's called. Um, uh, oh, last time we came here, um, we did pretty well, we scored in the points in the first season, so I hope we can do that again. As we're going to take a look at the vehicle performance here, um, McLaren still leads, we're still P6. As we're going to take a look at the driver standings, Fernando Alonso leads over Charles Leclerc with the 27, I believe, point cap. And then it's Max Verstappen, and then Carlos Sainz, Perez, Russell, Ricardo, Lewis Hamilton, Sebastian Vettel, and ourselves in the top 10. As, um, yeah. Um, uh, nothing really much to say there, um. I'll probably say more stuff during the race, but I'll see you guys at the track. Welcome once again then to the United States Grand Prix here in the magnificent city of Austin. It was here in 2018 that Kimi Raikkonen delighted the world by taking the top step of the podium for the first time in 114 races. There's always a record to be broken, so what, I wonder, is in store for us here today? We're racing then today in Travis County, Texas, around the 20 corners of this wonderful Circuit of the Americas. We'll be reaching speeds of around 200 miles per hour here today, and there are plenty of good opportunities to pass, especially through the two DRS zones into Turn 1 and the long back straight into Turn 12. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. An immense lap from Carlos Sainz yesterday puts him in pole position. And starting next to them is George Russell. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Leclerc, Fernando Alonso, the captain, Hamilton, Ocon, Vettel, and Max Verstappen. Norris, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen, and Stroll. Oscar Piastri, Joe, Mick Schumacher and Alex Albon. They'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty. Drogovic, Sonoda, Latifi and Pierre Gasly picks up the final grid slot. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track where preparations are underway. And joining me again for the race today, Natalie Pinkham. We should talk about Williams. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within the team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that has definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. As now, as we get ready for this Grand Prix here for the United States Grand Prix or CODA or whatever it's called, <laughs> I don't really know, as, um... I'm changing the that um the strategy for this race because for some reason it's not soft to medium so um uh yeah just gonna make sure all these stuff all this settings are correct and yep it looks like we're ready to go we have qualified into Q3 by the way as the fiber lights are out and it's gonna be lights out and away we go here for the United States Grand Prix. I still don't know what to call it to be honest, but um, uh, yeah, I'm down into turn one, trying to make a move three places at a time, but it did not work. As now we try, we just lost all the positions other than one. Now heading to these turns here, just try not to cut the corners at least um, in this opening lap of the Grand Prix. Just trying to stay behind George Russell for now, trying to clear off Fernando Alonso right now. For this race as the opening lap here as now he's the McLaren has a run on me but I defend now heading to the long straight up back straight away here they use some of our ERS here just trying not to pour away or just trying not to make try not to lose the DRS zone at least we're here to lap three is now for now Alonso side by side between me and him I go way deep down on the inside. I get on the outside. George Russell now it's still between me and Fernando Alonso for P4 now. Now we are just fighting so hard for this P, for this position. We are defending, not giving up, and we have officially won the battle. 
but we did get a gain as far on George Russell. Yeah, it's now heading to, the, to these turns here. About to end on the opening lap here. So I believe Science will leave the first lap here. Yep, okay, never mind, it's in. Signs will lead the opening lap here. As um, we have made up, I believe, two spots on the opening lap. Yes, we have. And now down into turn one. Fernando Alonso is gaining on me, so I gotta be careful. Be careful of that. Now heading to these corners, we're coming to the tricky corners that I sometimes struggle at. Here as now, here we go. Coming to the corners, completely just cutting them. If it was trick, but um. Anyways, it's now heading to these turners trying. Oh, it's now Alonso trying to make a move on me. It did not work. I went a little bit wide in the corners. So, um, but we, I believe we did mess him up a little bit because now he's a second behind us. So, but, um, I'm just trying my absolute best to gain on Perez here. I'm trying not to lose that DRS zone that we're about to get on my three, so I just really want that DRS zone, so I can try and pull away from Fernando Alonso as best as I can, so, um, yeah, so I'm just trying our best here to try and stay with the DRS zone, because we're coming up to the opening lap, so we'll just see if anything happens here from the here and then, I guess. Well, we didn't get the DRS zone, sadly, um, but, um, we're still keeping keeping close to Perez, as we're just using all of our battery here, so we're just trying to keep up with them. As behind us, I believe. Oh wait, never mind. Um, behind us, Alonso's still trying to pass us four P4 right now. We're just trying to hold off to this position here. Um, yeah, surprised we made it into Q3. Uh, we nearly didn't make it, but um, we would have had a better lap, but. Um, it was actually raining in Q3, so it didn't really help us. Um, I really tried to um, to uh, to try and get a fast lap, but I was way off the pace. As now Alonso comes again, trying to make a move on me. 4P4, any I just let him go at this point. Um, I'm just want I just want that DRI zone to be honest. Um, and he's also on the title fight, I believe, with Leclerc, so I don't want to screw any of that up. Even though I probably have been for the, la for the last few races. Um, that's now George Russell's going to have an opportunity at us, but um, he didn't miss long straightaway. But um, right now, I'm just trying to save battery for this straightaway because we are going to have DRS with Alonzo. So, um, yeah. Also, I'm on a medium. I don't realize. I'm going to try and go for that strategy that we've been using to try and go for mediums to solve so I'm gonna try and see if it works now we got DRS but it's not close enough George Russell tries to make a move I defend very hard try not giving up and George Russell gonna be trying to make a move down on the inside that's now wasn't clear there there's now there's caution Felipe Djokovic is now out of the session here of the of the uh, United States Grand Prix or Coda Circuit of the Americas, I believe it's called. So, yeah, GDNF with in the house. So, a former teammate too. So, yeah, as you just saw there, we made a little bit of contact with George Russell. While I was not clear. It was 100% my fault. Um, yeah. Now Alonzo takes the fastest lap, and I was holding him up too. So, I guess it was a good thing that I let him by. Now coming to lap five here, the Grand Prix is now going a little bit wide right there. It's now George Russell could have another opportunity at us, but I defend. And now um, coming to these corners here. Now just trying to take it as smooth as possible, but George Russell is still behind us. He is wanting this P5 ever since that lap one three wide position between Neil and Lonzo. So um, that's. I don't know what happened. I believe I cut him off, but um, now he's a second behind us. He won't get the RS, I believe. Or well, maybe he might now because I just went wide. But um, yeah, we just have to wait until lap ten, or I might pursue it. But um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just see where this goes. Come. 
Coming into lap six here as now we got some pit stops. Leclerc and Hamilton have pitted. Um, as now we are still in P4. Um, Russell's still trying to pass us, but other than that, he just went wide, I believe, trying to make a move on me, but unfortunately he messed up, so yeah, nothing really much. I just wanted to say that people are pitted. <laughs> pit stops are happening, but I don't get to pit until like a, a few more laps, I believe. People on the softs here are surprisingly doing well, especially George Russell behind us. He was just keeping up with us because I'm on the medium, so I expect them to struggle by now, but um, I guess I'm the slow one, so. Um, let's just see how this happens. Um, turn into lap 8 of the Grand Prix here. Um, and yeah, I'm the leader now. <laughs> I have not led two laps of the race. I didn't record me, uh, me, um, uh, leading the leading the field on the last lap, but I've recorded it now. Ricardo's gaining on me, so it's gonna be an issue. So yeah, I'll we'll probably pit soon here in about a lap, or maybe this lap, but I'm not too sure. My, most likely it'll be the next lap, but um. Yeah, but Ricardo's getting really fast. He was two seconds away from me. Now he's a whole second. So, um, yeah, I'm really slow right now. I'm just really struggling here with these mediums. Um, Low-key want to go to the soft. So, yeah, so we're, just, we're just using all of the battery at this point because, um, yeah, I'm just struggling that much on the medium. Yeah, he's still gaining on me. He has a straight on straight line speed. Don't understand, bro. I mean, try my best, but I'm just, I'm just still not not going fast enough, apparently. So, um, most likely the next lap I will be pitting for these tires, but uh, still not too sure. I might change my mind. Probably about right now. Uh, I'm uh, no, 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 no. Next lap, for sure. Next lap. So. Um, yeah, we got Ricardo behind us. He has DRS range, sadly. Uh, we are just very slow, so... Yeah, we'll probably most likely pit this lap or next lap, but who knows. As now, a few moments later, um, Ricardo sadly catches us. As, yeah. This confirms that we are really slow and as we have no more battery, just using all of our battery we can, just trying to keep him out of our DRS range as now he just zooms past us as now we are not giving up down on the inside, giving my, giving my first place back he is not having it, I'm not letting him have it, so yeah, I don't care if we fight for this P1, I'm not really losing anything anyways, so pretty much very slow on track here um yeah, um don't know what to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna pit this time. Screw it, we're pitting. We're gonna pit for these softs. 37% mediums. So now just coming in to our pit stop here. Ricardo pit as well. Because now we just gotta have a good stop here. Hopefully to beat Ricardo. As here we come to our pit stop here. Press A. Let's go. Alright, change the tires, change the tires. 2.4, okay, that's not too bad. Where do we come out though? Oh, as I'm inside of Ricardo. Oh, P7? P8? Oh, looks like it's P8. Oh, oh god. Okay, we just made a lot of contact with Lando Noise there. Uh, just <laughs> didn't know what to do in that moment, but um, yeah, we made contact. So. Apologize to Lando. There is now Ocon has got by Lando Norris. As I, I don't know how used are these softs, but um, oh, like twenty-four percent. Okay, maybe, well maybe this is why they wanted me to use the hards <laughs> instead of the softs. But um, uh, yeah, we're probably gonna struggle a lot with these tires now. I regret. Putting on these softs, 24 lap old softs, but um, don't know why they didn't give me the 7% softs at least, but um, 
yeah, now we're gonna have to fight with these people, with these drivers, to try and hopefully get P7. So let's just see what's gonna happen here. Three laps to go here at the Circuit de Americas. Um, nothing really happened in the lap before, to be honest. But um, oh well, okay. I just went white there. Now Ocon's gonna be right on my bumper. But well, as I was saying, the last lap, lap 11, nothing really happened. They didn't really catch me, to be honest. But um, now they have catched me. Um, so. Yeah, I, I really went wide in turn one, which didn't help a lot there, so, um, yeah, just using all of our battery we can here, so, it just shows how slow we are, the straightaways, so, um, and now, yeah, now here they come to the DRS zone, just trying to pull away as fast as we can as we long, no longer have no more battery, as, uh, now, Bit of a pause right there. Apologize. It's now Esteban Ocon comes down on the inside of us. I get very loose. Holy. Oh my god. Ocon wants his spot. I am not happy. Trying to give him the bumper a little bit. But uh, we are not giving up yet. So now we send it down on the inside of Esteban Ocon. And it worked, buddy. I did not appreciate that. <laughs> I was not happy in that moment. So I right, decided to give him, give him the same treatment, I guess you can say. Even though it didn't really show much, but um, uh, yeah, it's now we're gonna come into two laps to go here at the Grand Prix. Um, as I was saying about the the cut there, um, the ten minutes was up, so um, yeah. Now Esteban Ocon takes another look. We are not giving up yet. Go very wide into turn one, trying to defend our position here at P7, as our t top tires were 43 percent. As we still have two more laps to go here to try and defend these old, old softs here. As, um, just trying to defend as much as we can here. Hopefully, to hopefully get P7. Just trying our very best to defend. And now we're starting, nope, no we're not. I was about to say, we're starting to pull away, but we're not, sadly. Um, as now, here we come to the... The RS zone here, trying to go all the way down on the inside, not letting them have the RS. Now, just hoping. Yep, they don't have the run, so I'm good for now, but maybe not. Ocon tries to look, have another look. Oh, jeez, I try to give him room. I nearly went wide, so. Yeah, just, just very competitive racing here for P7. Trying to defend as much as we can. We are nine seconds away from Hamilton. Just, just shows how slow and just slow, just how, just shows how slow we are in holding up this whole field. As, um, yeah, as now we're coming to the white flag. I believe Carlos Sainz is leading this race. It's now going a little bit wide in that corner. It's now into this corner, coming up, coming up to the white flag here, up the second America's Grand Prix. I don't know what to call it still. So, it's now using all the battery we can, even though we barely don't have any. Is now Ocon's gonna have another look. I defend. Oh jeez, very tight into turn one. I want. I go off off the track, and we are still defending our P7 right now. Now Ricardo has a look on Ocon, but it doesn't work. Now going through these fast corners here, trying to defend for P7. Holy, this is crazy right now. Ten seconds away from him, from Hamilton right now. Just shows how slow we are. As now we're coming to this straight away here as now we're about to come out the, on the line straight away Ocon takes a look on the outside we defend as now coming into the DR, the final DRI zone of this race going all the way down on the inside using all of our battery we can as now Ocon's gonna have a look I Ricardo has a look but he he dodges me as now coming into these corners very defensive Two, three wide for P7. I am not giving up on this P7 right now. Ricardo tried to look, take a look. He tried to go left and then turn right. I defend as much as possible. As now, it looks like we're gonna get P7 here, holding up this pack of cars here. He's now coming to the final corner. Carlos Sainz will win here at the Circuit of the Americas Grand Prix here. It's now coming to these final corners here. Going very wide. Ricardo's gonna have one final look on the outside. I defend as much as we can. Put him a little bit wide. 
makes him lose a couple of positions and we officially came home. P7 here at the Grand Prix. feel it was down to the driver and car today i mean we could talk driver skill all day but if you don't have a solid team to back that you're never going to get anywhere when you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car that's when you see results like those that we've witnessed today ferrari are at it again an excellent performance at today's grand prix and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there Because now we're going to take a look at the standings here from the United States. Oh, they get it right. It was the United States Grand Prix. Carlos Sainz has won for Ferrari. Then it's Charles Leclerc in P2. And Sergio Perez rounds up the podium here in the Red Bull in P3. It's the rest is Fernando Alonso, George Russell, Lewis Hamilton, ourselves in P7, Esteban Ocon, Daniel Ricciardo, and Max Verstappen running up the top 10. And the points, frustrating day for Max Verstappen actually, as now we're going to take a look at the points here. Fernando Alonso with a 21 point lead over Charles Leclerc in these next, I believe, two, three races, I believe. I'm not too sure, but um, most likely two. As it's basically them two for the championship right now. As we are up to P10, we could catch the Alpine as the Bastion Vettel. As um, now constructors... Um, yeah, I don't know why it's doing that so fast, but um, anyways, uh, this was a fun, fun race for me to be honest. A lot of good battles here and there, and uh, as um, yeah, this is gonna be the end of the video here, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.